and a bottle of D&M. Um, 6x6, six 7x7, seven six, seven seven, and a 5x5. Five five. So, yeah, so let's get straight into the unboxing. So I think I'm going to go from like what I'm least excited about to what I'm most. So I'm going to probably start with the lubes. So I'm going to test these lubes on the Super Rs for by the way, once we get started. So we got DNM, very popular lube made by the cubicle. Put that aside. And Mystic, which is also one of the cubicle's more popular lubes. All very, very good. Very happy with these. Really excited to try these out. Next, we got the one by one kit. It's a one by one. Don't really know what happened, but it came for free. Not gonna do this yet, but you just stick it on your own. So this is the two by two. This is the GMS. This is a budget two by two. So I'm probably not going to consider main this. It's already at the 251 and Pro, which is a very, very good two by two but I am interested in seeing how good this is for its price. I think it's like $6. Okay, so in the box, we very obviously have the cube and just about nothing else. I do not need any of this, but let's just get straight into the cubes, the first rounds. So very, I would say, smooth feeling out of the box. Weird turning sound. I actually kind of like it and acceptable performance for its price. Actually very good. So if you're looking for a really good 2 by 2 on budget, I would recommend this one. So. Let's just put that aside. And uh, oh yeah, forgot about the RS3M Super. So RS3M was a very good cube, made in 2020, and this is a 2022 reboot, I guess, of the cube. So I've heard mixed reviews on this cube. So. I am excited to see. This is just the regular version that come came with the order for free. So this is not the ball core, which is the more expensive and better version. So opening it up. Crap, I tore the box. That's whatever. Budget cube. In the box, you get an accessories box, which is it became standard with Moyu cubes, Moyu cube stand, and the cube itself. So, pretty basic. I like it. Simple. Opening it up. Gosh, who invented this plastic Moyu? Very hard to open, but um, first turns. I actually really like this. It's pretty blocky, but I think with what I've heard from Mystic, this should be helpful. So it's, I don't know what happened there, but I think this should be help. It comes out like a waterfall less than a. It comes out more like a waterfall and less like a droplet of lube so unexpected there let's break it in a little bit so very very nice I really like this and this is actually a very good budget cube for its price I'm I don't think I'm with my current position on this I don't think it is main consideration, but I actually do really like this cube. Sorry, I was holding it back a little bit much there. But yeah, very good. Let's try the DNM. So 
so the DNM is a very fast watery lube, I've heard. So three drops should be all we need. And cap on that and break in. Salt is not good. So it looks a little bit uncontrollable as it is now, but overall pretty good cube. So now let's move on to the big cubes, which I'm really excited for. So this is not my first five by five. This actually is, but it is extremely horrible. And so I'm considering this in a real sense to be my first decent five by five as the other one barely even counts so i actually really like this yj mgc box only mgc cube i have is the old two by two so opening it up put this little sleeve aside Really cool looking, and then open it up directly into an accessories box, which I'm probably not going to use right now, and then keep it itself. So, open it up. We have this same really hard to open packaging, and then the cube, which is. Very actually nice. I like this quite a lot. It is smooth turning. It seems to have good performance in actually doing like a parody aug. So let's test performance. For the outer layers, which I looped with Mystic, I'm just gonna solve it like a three by three. DNM on the outside, but let's just do this. Solve. Did not practice, and a little bit of inner layers to break in that DNM. Ooh, and I really do like the way that DNM breaks in with the inner layers. So this YJ MGC five x five actually is really good. this cube actually quite a lot I will be maining this okay so first main of this unboxing no surprise but I'm happy to be pulling a main out of this so let's put that right here so for the 6x6 and the 7x7 I'm about equal interest in these but I think since the 7x7 is bigger we're gonna go with that last so let's just open up that box And I have a history of really liking Moyu Big Cubes, so I'm really excited to get into this. I really like the Aosu compared to the um, MGC when it comes to 4x4, so I do main the Aosu. I really like the plastic feel. Okay, so you can tell that it is a new cube out of the box. Very sandy. So if you want a cube with a lot of factory lube, I would not go with this one. Ooh, really nice outer layers. Fast. Oh, this is actually very nice. This is very, very good. 
I will definitely main this compared to the MGC. The MGC was just not my favorite cube. Didn't like it that much, but this, very good. Definitely a little bit of a turning mistake there. Wow, I'm blown. I will not be setting this up because I've never set up a big cube. And I'm definitely not going to do it with you guys where it will take a long time. Oh, very nice. This is instant main for me. So let's just get into the 7x7 because I really like the MGC. So I'm going to see how this stacks up. So the cubicle recommended this over the MGC in their video. So I'm going to see if it lives up to the hype. Because the MGC 7x7 was very good beating out many, many cubes before it. So I'm interested in seeing how the Aosu will stack up. So put some of that trash aside. Wait, hold on. Wait. Some, how small is this? This is a seven by seven. And that is definitely seven layers. Put this aside. It's about the size of the I do a very risky turning style, so I'm not surprised with that lockup. This turns incredibly. Like, I'm blown away. So out of all the cubes I got, these are some of my favorites. I really like the MGC 5x5. This is definitely going to be a new main compared to my old one. Made your salt of parody. I really like this cube, and for the lubes, very, very good. The Chi MS2 I do, still dry as a bone, but this cube definitely stacks up as a six dollar cube. So, very good. And um, one by one, I couldn't care less, to be honest. And the Super is 3M, I think it's $10, so. So, very much recommend this if you are on a budget. I prefer this over the original RS3M. More blocky seeming, but it feels more like a modern Moyu cube compared to old RS3M. So, very good. And for the Moyu big cubes, instant mains. I really like the plastic feel to them. Compact, very nice. Also got a little bit of primary internals, which... I really like. I don't think it is on the 7x7. Seven seven. But it's very apparent on the 6x6, six six and I like it a lot. So, very good cubes. Um, probably going to main all the big cubes. And yeah, so if you want to buy these cubes, be sure to buy them off the cub cubicle. Very good. And I will see you guys in the next one, and have a great day.